Welcome to your daily dose of Blender day 51. In this one, we're gonna render and composite. Hit Control Alt Numpad Zero to position your camera. Adjust your camera dimensions as you want. G middle mouse button to zoom in. Under the render properties, change the time limit to three minutes. And under film, enable transparent. In the layer properties, enable the object and material crypto mats. Then just go to render and render image. Now we have our sweet render. Change this window to the compositor and this one to the UV editor. Click on use nodes, Control Shift left click to get the viewer node. Change this one to viewer node. You may have to control shift left click again to update it. First thing I want to add is a glare node. Make sure it's connected to the composite and viewer. Mess around with the fade and the threshold to get something you want. I'm going to put threshold to 1 and fade to 0.8 or so. Duplicate this glare node. On this one change it from streaks to fog glow. I'm going to put the size to 9. I want the gem to glow a little bit more. So let's get a crypto mat. Plug the image into image. Control shift left click to pick. Click the little plus icon and select the gem. Control shift left click to the image. And you can see with crypto mats, we're able to isolate objects or materials individually. I'm gonna duplicate the streaks glare node and drop it right after. And on this one, I'm gonna put the fade up and the threshold down to like 0.05 or so. To add this gem back in, add an alpha over and put the gem glare into the bottom socket. Lastly, to add a background, duplicate this alpha over, plug the previous one into the bottom slot and change this color to whatever you want. And we are now done with our sick sword.